Why, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. I have a very important question for you. You know, we all live our lives and we all look to tomorrow. We always think there's going to be another tomorrow. But you know the sad truth is, is none of us are promised another day. So here I am in the middle of a huge cemetery. You know, all the people that are here actually thought they were going to have one more tomorrow. And everybody knows Jesus. Somebody, some people say, do you know Jesus? Eh, everybody knows Jesus. In Romans chapter 1, starting verse 18, it says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and wickedness of men, who by their wickedness suppress the truth. What truth is that? The truth that we all know Jesus. We all know God. For what can be known about God is plain to them because God has shown it to them. Namely, his eternal power, his divine nature, his invisible attributes have been clearly perceived, clearly seen ever since the creation of the world in everything that has been made, including you. So everybody knows Jesus. A more important question is, does Jesus know you? When we shuffle off this mortal coil, and each one of us will end up in a place like this, a cemetery. You're going to end up in the grave. So, you need to ask yourself a question. It's not, do you know Jesus? Because you do. You can't help but know him. He made you to know him. The more important question is, does Jesus know you? You see, Jesus tells us that if you love him, you will keep his commandments. You will walk as he walks. You will follow him and be like him. And then when you die and you end up in the grave, and once the res resurrection occurs, you will stand before the living God and you will hear one of two statements. You'll either hear, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into your rest, your Sabbath. Or you'll hear the horrific words, away from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. The fact is, you know Jesus. But does Jesus know you? Does Jesus know you by the way you act and what you do and how you live your life? in every thought, word, or deed. Think about that for a second. You know the living, loving, logical lawgiver God, but does he know you? That's something you need to ask yourself before you end up in a place like this. Boys and girls, my tagline, while repetitive, is quite true. Everybody will do one of two things. This is called a dichotomy. You will do one or you will do the other. Repent or perish. You will either get the gift of repentance and get the gift of the Holy Spirit so you will want to love God by obeying Him or you won't and you will perish in eternal hell. It says the good news of the gospel is foolishness to those who are perishing. God wants none to perish but all to come to everlasting life. Life eternal in a place called heaven where you can be with your Creator the way He designed you to be. Think about it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at mrbatman.com or my phone number is 502-354-8699. Again, my name is Jim. I am Mr. Batman. And repent or perish. Repent and believe the gospel. God bless and have a good evening.